What's up Libra? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jose Alfredo Ra, and this is going to be your first message for um, April 2021. Welcome to Spring Equinox, right? All right, Libra, I hope you've been doing great since the last video I made for you. Um, before I get into your messages, um, I want you to please make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video. Make sure you um, share it, right? Subscribe to my channel so you can continue supporting the channel and I can continue to provide you with great spiritual content, great weekly um, messages, right? From source to universe. So I added um, the Numinous Astro deck, right? So I'm gonna be pulling some astrology messages for you today. And then I'm gonna get into some Oracle card messages. Not really sure which, which one. Um, it'll come to me in a little bit and then get you some tarot messages, all right? All right, so let's see what we have here for Libra. What messages do we have for Libra coming today? Please flip over if you can, ancestors and guides. Thank you. All right, what are the next messages for Libra? Let's provide them with Flip over clearly, thank you. That one's still there though. Okay, that's for you. There we go, Libra. Flow, North Node. Is there another two messages possibly for Libra? Flip over if you can, please. Another two more messages if that's possible. Okay, the next, the last one. Thank you. All right, Leo's popping up here at the end. So Libra, there may be a Leo that is um, entering your life right now. Or this is an energy that you need to embody, the energy of Leo. We have Thrine, which is the flow, right? So harmonious, there's benefits coming your way. Probably a surplus of energy. Um, enjoyment might be coming your way as well as gifts and support from um, unknown sources. Be mindful of indulgences at this time. There you go. That's your thrine. We have North Node Destiny. So again, you should find out what your placement is, Libra. Maybe some of you have a North Node placement in Leo, which means that you need to start taking on the qualities of a Leo. And all of the positive aspects of a Leo are the, are the things that you need to start embodying and focusing on if you have a North Node in Leo. Um, if it's not Leo, then just go get your natal chart done. Go online. Find out what your North Node is because your North Node is basically telling you what you need to focus on in this lifetime. Your South Node will tell you the astrological signs that you've, or an energy that you have mastered already. So North Node is time to step into your destiny, right? In this time frame uh, of your life right now, Libra, right? There's going to be an influx of energy around you. There are going to be some great opportunities coming your way because you're either not realizing it but you're heading into your north node energy right or you need to head into your north node energy then we have the 11th house which is the edge so this is about friendship group creativity community um experimentation the future the edge um 11th house i think that should be the house of aquarius if i'm not mistaken which we know aquarius is what they stand for right innovation um moving forward very intellectual sometimes a little bit on the weird side right depending on their personality um but friendships and connections are going to be start starting to grow around you foster those really well and then again leo could be coming into your life or you need to be in that energy of leo remember leo represents like also like the sun when we see leo we know the sun shines bright wherever you go and you feel the light of the sun Right, you're attracted to it. It brings this sensation, right, of uplifting energy. Leos have a tendency of also being in the spotlight. So I think you need to start embracing this energy of like being more out, putting yourself out there more, right? Right here, the edge. Be a little bit more edgy with your lifestyle. Be a little bit more edgy with your choices, right? Because Libra, you can be very like a diplomatic and reserved at times but sometimes you need to be a little bit more of um of a wild child you know not so much a wild child but um again be edgy be willing to try things that you haven't tried before because this could be your north node energy kicking in 
All right, so let's get an Oracle card message. Let's go with Spirit Animal. I haven't used Spirit Animal in quite some time. The deck is huge. All right, let's get messages. Clearly for Libra. Okay, click over if you can. Thank you. That's the first one. Yes. All right. Kitty, kitty, cat, kitty, cat. 13. Cat spirit. Claim your independence, Libra. I love this. One and three. One is about taking that, the first steps. You're the leader of your life. And three is about creating harmony, right? And connections, right? Claim your independence, Libra. I like that. All right. What is the next message for Libra? Mm -hmm. The next message for Libra, please. Let's see. We just need two more, right? All right. Fox Spirit. That's the first one out. Two and a seven, which is duality, right? Creating some sort of balance in your life. And seven's about getting some more information. This is mastering yourself. Think on your feet. Also, remember with changes and being more edgy and trying things that you haven't tried before, it's almost like when you're stepping into a new, something new in your life and you're not sure of like what the outcome is going to be, what you necessarily need to do, you just need to go with the flow of things and think on your feet, right? Just think of a solution as a situation pops up. All right. Final message for Libra. One more card, please. Final message for Libra. Just one more message. Flip over if you can. Make it clear for Libra. Flip over if you can. Make it clear for Libra. Okay. Nice. Badger spirit, number four. Be fearless and bold, right? And this is about your foundation with the four. This could deal with the home and your family. Be fearless and bold. Don't be afraid to make those moves. Don't be afraid to move in the direction, right? of creating all the stability you need and moving forward with what you want for your future self, Libra. What you want for the life that you're creating for yourself, for your home environment. Okay. There we go. Now let's get into the tarot. All right. All right, sun at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so let's go. It's April now. Let's get some recent past energy. Let's get present current energy and potential future outcome for the month. All right, we already got it. Three card message. Flip over if you can clearly for Libra. Show me three messages. I already saw one. Okay, guys. Give me just a second. Boop, boop, boop. All right, we're doing three card message, recent past energy, two more cards, please, thank you. Flip over if you can, thank you. One more card, please. Recent past energy, that's what we're looking at right now. Recent past energy for Libra, thank you. Okay. Oh, okay, Libra. So in your recent past energy, you have the Ace of Cups, the Hangman, and the Sun. These are, well... First of all, two major arcanas, right? And an ace, which is crazy. The ace of cups. The hangman, right? Or hang person. And the sun. Very interesting. So, it looked like there was an opportunity for new love to come into your life, right? Or you wanted new love. You gained a new love within yourself. Or your love, or new love in connection with source divinity, right? A new opportunity for something emotional, However, it looks like you were quite possibly like at a standstill. You were at a pause. You couldn't really make a decision. You needed to somehow gain a perspective of how could this possibly manifest, right? How is this new love going to manifest for you? And how moving forward is it going to bring you that joy, that rebirth, the abundance that you're asking for with the sun here? So it looks like new love came into your life or a new opportunity, to bring emotionally fulfilling love, but like you weren't really sure of how that was gonna happen. And it's almost like you almost didn't know how to make, 
how to make that choice, right? How to move forward. Or how that was going to manifest. And maybe because somebody was actually not making the moves. That could have been you as the hangman or that could have been the other person in this, in your situation. Libra, that was just like at a standstill. They couldn't make a decision. They couldn't make a choice to move forward and create, um, right? A brand new period of, of abundance with the sun card for you. Okay, can we get three cards for present energy for Libra? All right? Can we show them clearly what present energy do we feel around Libra at this current moment? Yep, one, two. Oh, yes, Libra, this is resonating. One more message, please. Thank you. There you go. Woof. -ah. No. I'm hearing, um, no drama, no more drama in my life. Mary J. Blige, right? That's what I just heard. No more pain. No more pain. Okay, Libra. And that's the first time that ever happened to me. And I actually never heard a song come up in my mind like that. All right, so Queen of Cups, which you're currently feeling like, Libra, you're feeling like, um... You know your worth, you know how much love you have, right? You know how nurturing and beautiful of a person you are. You know how soothing your energy is to people, right? The love that you have. You know that you're a giver. And you also know that you will sit there on that rock and wait patiently, right? Until the right person comes into your life. You're not just going to give that cup to anyone anymore. You've made that decision and you're choosing temperance. This is Sagittarius's energy coming up here. You've seen the bigger picture, right? You are going to take the time. You're going to make sure that your life is balanced. You're going to be patient, right? And you will take all the time you need, right? And wait until the right timing happens or the right person comes into your life and then start a new cycle with them. Because you have the Wheel of Fortune here. So you have the Queen of Cups, Temperance, and the Wheel of Fortune. This says you will be patient. Right? You'll be patient with yourself. And you will wait for the right opportunity to move into a new cycle with someone. Because you know your worth as the Queen of Cups. You know how, emo how, how loving of a person can be. You know how serious you can commit to someone. Right? You know that when you give your love, you're giving it from your core. You're also very in, uh, in, intuitive as the Queen of Cups. So you can sense emotions. All right, let's get a future potential outcome for Libra. Future potential outcome for this week with Libra. What messages do we need to show them that are coming ahead of Libra? Flip over if you can, please. Show us clearly. Flip over. Okay. One, those two. Yeah, one more. That's it. You got it. Thank you so much. That was a jumper. Ooh, strength. One more. That's cool. Just one more. Thank you. Ha <laughs> Libra. Okay. I love it. Bitch. Okay. So not only are you recognizing, right, your divine feminine energy with the Queen of Cups, how nurturing you are and how loving, but you're also, right, not taking any bullshit, right, with your divine masculine energy as the King of Cups. You're holding that sword. You will remove and cut away anything that doesn't serve you, right? You will stand in your power. You know that you've thought about this clearly. You're not going to be fooled by anybody's games, right? Because not only are you grounded and supported in your emotional well-being, but you're, you're smart, right? You're intellectual. And nobody's going to put any game up on you with that, if that made any sense. And you're overcoming, right? Ten of Swords, you're ending a cycle. You are ending a cycle and you're ready for a new chapter. You're no longer going to let um, worries, miscommunication, and doubt affect you anymore. All right? Because you're standing in your power. Some of you, and remember, this could also be a card of Libra. It's an air sign card. Um, but also this could be you being in divine masculine energy. A cycle has ended and you're ready for something new to begin. 
and you're going to be supported. Lots of major arcanas coming out here. Hangman, the Sun, Temperance, the Wheel of Fortune, and then Strength and Justice, your card Libra, right? You have the strength to overcome, right? The, the Lion and the Maiden, right? This is our lower vibration, our lower carnal desires, and this is our higher self. You've overcome that. You've overcome your carnal desires, right? You want love, right? Whatever it is that you want in your life. But you know that it cannot come solely from just the pleasures of the senses, right? That there has to be a, a, a balance. And you're restoring that balance. And you're telling anyone coming forward, Libra, if you're coming towards me and all you're thinking is about the sensual pleasures, move on before I cut you out completely. I'm done with that cycle, right? You need to love me for my body and you need to love me for my mind. And you've come into that realization and you're connected to Source Divinity and you have that strength. Card of Leo, right? And you have Leo energy coming out here. And you are restoring the balance within your life. Libra Justice came out here at the end and that is your card, right? You have the wisdom, you have the intellect, right? You're connected to Source. You have the clarity. You have that sword which allows you to communicate effectively what you want in your life and to verbalize what you need and communicate effectively to anyone in your current situation, right? To restore the balance in those connections. What? Libra, you bossed up. You, is, you bossed up right now, Libra. So many major arcanas. That's amazing. Heavy energy right there. All right, stick to your guns, Libra. All right, don't change for anyone. Continue being patient with yourself. Continue being patient, right, with your desires. Because your love, right, is divine love. With the queen and temperance, right? So be patient and everything will balance out. And a new cycle will begin for you. Trust me. You will attract, right, the right person. But you will also be able to see a wolf in sheep's clothing, right? Or someone who's not ready to meet you at that same level that you're at, Libra. All right, Libra, this was your first reading for April. If it resonates, please give it a thumbs up. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification again so you know when I release all new uploads for you, Libra. Have a great day. I love you very much, my fellow air sign. Take care.